Say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert fast. mural, huh? And this will give us the key we need to open the sacred gate, and we can finally reach the clevis. Huh? <gasps> if it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, god of light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the soul song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So what does the ceremony do? More than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, you have no intention of helping the Order? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. The Order wishes for the Soul Song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it might save the souls of those who have died since the fall, you should be lending your support. Right, this should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. The completed crux should open the sacred gate. You've almost made it to the holy clavis itself. But be careful. The Order has mobilized its seculars. They may be on your heels. If we get this open, we'll be face to face with the Clavis at last. And who knows what else? 
I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? I'm picking up a huge energy source from within the sacred gate. It's just like Feng said. The clavis lies before you. It's close. It may have further protections, though. Be careful out there, Light. Yeah, we've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's do this. Light, you have to be in the Ark at 6 o'clock every morning to regulate the time distortion. Sarah, it won't be long now. I'm coming home soon, aren't I? No, wait! <sighs> a reminder from Bonavelza. It was just a mirage. God didn't want me to forget the bait he dangled in front of me when he asked me to be the savior. But the moment I realized that, I became aware of something else, too. When I looked into Sarah's face, when I heard her voice and when I saw the promise of her return, I should have felt something, a surge of joy or warmth. But instead, I felt nothing inside. And strangely, I didn't care. Good to see you again. So Mog was alive after all, and he's been living together with the other Moogles. I'm really happy for him. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human, something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The Savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want.
So that's the Holy Clavis. The magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. Damn! Can you feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the Seculars. They're close. And they're armed. I'm sorry. They must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine. Forget about it. Fang, it looks like Seculars have already... Sorry about this, Vanille. Fang! <laughs> What are you doing? This is what you've been looking for! I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Benil uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead. Put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Benil is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... You bastards want to take it from me? No! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. Sacred one, but you're the ones who want her to die. That ceremony is not gonna happen. Hear this, Stephen. You insult the order of salvation, and in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God. God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death. Look at the hands on the clavis over my dead body. So light, you want to lend me a hand? <sighs> you're asking now. Let's do it, Fang. Stick together and we can do it.
took the clavis. Bastards! Won't open. They must have sealed it. Damn it! We're not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Doesn't it ease the dead's suffering? Oh, it eases it all right. See, they get Vanille to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the clevis. Then destroy them. No more soul, no more suffering. They're just gonna destroy them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it. Just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's gotta do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cries she hears. The only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clavis yourself. Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it, all right. But not to give it to her. To keep it from her. I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself. For a lie! So I joined up the bandits here. And watched over the ruins. And as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. That's low. <gasps> you even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was gonna stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secaders to us? Exactly. And without hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxarian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's life. Even the soul that was once Sarah wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanille will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> Fang, Vanille is going to die. You never did mince words. And I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Anil wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You always have been. Hmm. All right, all right. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together. Until the very end. about the soul song, the real truth of it. They wanted us to think it was this great thing, gonna save the dead. Why didn't you try to run away together? I wanted to. Believe me, I tried reason, guilt, even brute force. But Vanille, well, she wouldn't give an inch. She said she was going to do it, whether it killed her or not. This is still about her trying to atone for the past. <sighs> even the power she has to hear the dead. She thinks it's God trying to punish her.
they can't complete